In this lesson, we will look at the notion of recurrent and transient states in Markov chains. So first, let's start by defining what is a recurrent state in Markov chains. A state is said to be recurrent if, starting from that state, a Markov chain is guaranteed to revisit that state again. In this sense, a transient state would be otherwise. Let's look at examples that illustrate these concepts. In this Markov chain, we have three states, which have the following transitions. The transitions are denoted by arrows. We do not care about the value of the transition probabilities in this sense, rather than the actual transitions that can be performed. This is the first chain, and the second chain will be as follows. In the first example, we can see that all the states are recurrent. This is due to the fact that, starting for example from 1, then the system can go, it can alternate for example between 2 and 3 for some time, maybe hundreds of years, millions of years, but it always has a probability of shifting back to 1. Same happens with 2 and with 3, and thus all states in this figure are recurrent. If we look at the second example, we can see that the system may start at state 2 for example, it may shift between 2 and 3 for quite some long time, but once it leaves state 2 and leaves to state 1, state 2 can never be revisited again, and in this sense this violates the definition of a recurrent state, and we can see that both state 2 and state 3 are transient. This concludes our lesson about recurrent and transient states in Markov chains.